Hi, fishy folks. Happy Sunday funny to you. There's my boy Chewy. Chewy who bit me and drew blood. And I have it on film. And I did it all for 50 bucks. You want to see it? All right. Stand by. Get a seat. Get a beverage. Maybe I'll show it to you later. Anyway, there's a lot of buzz about flower horns right now on, uh, on the internet. A prominent YouTuber who had a flower horn uh, lost it. And um, there's a lot of talk what he killed it or, you know, he could have done more. I don't really know. I didn't watch the whole video. I only watched it because about 100 people were like, Mike, you got to see what he says. I, to be honest, I don't really care. Um, my flower horn, Chewy, is a super red dragon I got from Aqua Craze. Um, I primarily feed him Excalibur Foods. Check out uh, Excalibur Foods. Link in the description below. My buddy Tyler runs the company and uh, sells the food and does a great job. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing with Chewy right now with the, with the light. He likes following the light like a cat. It's a lot of fun. Let's talk a little bit about uh, his tank. So if you look, you see there's a poop ton of java moss in there. You might be saying to yourself, why is there java moss in Chewy's tank? Well, I've made the mistake before. I use java moss in my guppy breeding tanks, and I've made the mistake before of uh, taking java moss from one tank, putting in another tank with guppies in it, and there's been fry caught in the java moss. And then, boom, you get mutts. And I'm trying to avoid that so i put the java moss in here for a couple days any fry that's stuck in there become a tasty treat for my boy here chewy look at his cock his cock is ginormous and um man he's got a really sharp tooth right in the front anyway uh anyway and then i can put the java moss in other tanks i have some new fish coming in today i'm picking up from a local guy um he has some uh, really nice looking platies I'm gonna try again. And some angels, which I'll probably just give to my local fish store. And uh, some crebenzas, which a customer was looking for. So I will take those crebenzas and sell them to that customer. You know who you are. And uh, I'll have some platies hopefully soon on the website. And angels. I'll, I'll probably just, like I said, give the angels away. I don't really have space for them. My plan is to actually pick up the fish today and on the way home, stop at the local fish store and drop off the angels. How about a little video on Chewy Care? Now, he's a super red dragon. Um, I don't really know where he came from. Like I said, I bought him at Aqua Craze from Julie Tran. She runs some pretty good deals. And uh, my buddy Tyler knew I was kind of looking for a flower horn. And... Uh, He's, you know, when she had one of her sales, he said, Mike, check it out. There's some good deals there. And so that's what I did. And within uh, about 15 minutes of me looking at the website, I had already purchased him. Uh, he was much smaller. In fact, here's what he looked like when I first got him. Got him. And of course, you can see what it looks like now. Now, I don't know a lot about flower horns. I know I've been told he has nice pearling, which is the, the white or silver lines. Um, his cock, the hump on his head um, is quite big. And I attribute that to a combination of good genes and a good environment. His coloring is nice. He's growing quite well. You saw how big he was before and obviously how big he is now. So he's growing quite well. Um, I don't really know how old he is. I could probably find out from Julie. In fact, I'll probably send that email today. Uh, I'm sure she knows or at least can figure it out. He's in a 75 gallon tank, which probably will be big enough for him, uh, even when he gets full size, for a couple reasons. One, he's the only thing in there. Two, auto water change system. Um, so there's plenty of clean water. Um, I may, if I do upgrade a tank, I, it might be his. It would have to be a four foot tank because that's the, the room I have here. So I could only go higher. So maybe a 90 um, or I don't know what else. You know, a four foot 125 would be nice. But if I did that, I might do salt or something else. So I, I don't really know. I'm hoping this tank is big enough for him. 
Um, like I said, I feed him primarily Excalibur flower horn food. Um, occasionally I'll drop in these uh, Cobalt Ultra Pellet Predator. He doesn't like them as much as the Excalibur. In fact, let's feed him so you can see. Um, I fed him this morning already about six o'clock. So I don't know if he's still gonna be hungry, but let's take a peek, see how he does. He smells it, he sees it, he's eating it. I mean, it's good stuff, Excalibur, it's good stuff. Um, what else? Oh, snails, he loves eating snails. I was concerned about snails at first, and then many flower horn owners were like, no, it's fine, they can eat them. You can see all the snail, actually you can't see all the snail waste, how about that? You can see all the snail waste on the bottom. Um, I have quite a few snails from all my Pleco tanks. If you don't know, snails multiply when there's excess food. I overfeed my pleco tanks to help them breed more. And uh, boom, we get snails. So I'll put a scoop of snails in there and hope they clean a little bit of the algae on the glass. And if they don't, it's because Chewy's gotten to them. Uh, speaking of algae on the glass, it doesn't bother me. I know some people are like, oh, your, your tanks are filthy. First of all, mom isn't filth. Mom is useful in my breeding setups. Second of all, yeah, I could probably, you know, clean there. I do clean the front glass, obviously, so I can see him. But it's not that important to me to clean the sides. When I'm down here and I have extra time, whenever that is, I'll probably clean it out. But um, I know you guys have been waiting for this. Hope you guys have a snack and a beverage. I'm going to show you the footage. Let me set, set it up first. So I did a live stream yesterday. And it was an Ask Me Anything live stream because I never plan things. And, uh, you know, we got some good questions. We were talking a lot about this prominent YouTuber who lost a flower horn. Because people know I, I don't particularly care for him. I had a run-in with him at A&E. And, you know, he said he would do a video with me. And, of course, he never did. So take that for what it's worth. Um, I did learn from that that encounter that... I don't really know him, so I don't really know his personal life. I just know from his videos what I don't like, and that's okay. There are plenty of people out there that don't like my videos, they don't like my honesty, or the fact that I don't edit very much, or you know, they don't like this for some reason, or they're not guppies, or whatever, they're not guppy fans, or whatever, and, and it doesn't bother me. That's, that's the thing about YouTube. There's thousands of, millions of channels to watch, so if you don't like someone, just don't watch them, and I don't watch his stuff, so. Anyway, so we're talking about that, and it's getting to the end of the stream, and Tyler says, Tyler from Excalibur Flower Horn Food says, put your uh, hand in Chewy's tank and let him bite you. And I was like, if I get $50 in Super Chats from now until the end of the, the video, end of the stream, I'll put my finger in there and let him bite me. Within a minute, Mikey from uh, uh, Mile High Plecos gave me a $50 super chat. Well, I had to put up or shut up, so I stuck my tank, my finger in the tank, and here's what happened. If I get $50 in super chats starting now, bring it. All right. Ah, I'm fine. So, Scott, why does... Why does Simply Better have such a great husband? Ma Guppy. I didn't know what, Michael. What the hell? See, I missed stuff. Uh, I can't sex my first fry yet to know. I'll keep them together until I say, okay. Just sub you, Ma, before. All right. Sub. I trust you way too high, friends. I'm sure Michael would agree. 80 is no good. I keep mine below 20. Maybe a puppet can chime in. Yes, I will. Mass Effect is for cock. Is it? Is it released now? Yeah. Mass Effect is for ginormous cocks on flower horns. Holy crap. A $50 super chat. From who? You're crazy, Mike. All right. Let's do it. Come on, buddy. Ah, mother. He bit me. Look. Look, he bit me. It hurt. No blood, though. 
That's funny. That's good stuff right there. Mike, you rock. You suck. Who's your daddy? All right. That was quick, too. He jumped on my finger like it was a snail. That was pretty funny. Mikey, thank you for the $50 super chat. I'm scrolling down to the bottom so I can see what you guys say about me. All right, fishy folks. I hope you enjoyed me watching me getting bit by Chewy. Uh, he did actually draw blood. It did hurt. I did feel teeth in my finger. I've been bit twice before, once by him, but it was just like a nibble when he was a little smaller. I was actually making a video like this, and I had my fingers like this, and he jumped up and bit it. And once by a, in an angel tank, uh, he was guarding his eggs, and I was trying to um, clean up some stuff, and he, he bit me, but it didn't really hurt, and I didn't feel any teeth, and it didn't draw blood. This one drew blood, and... Um, so I'd like to throw that challenge out there to my boy, Scott. Scott, you made a comment about your dovi. I suggest you make a video of letting your dovi, since you don't have a flower hunt anymore, bite your finger. Tag your it, Scott. King and queen cichlids. Check them out. Maybe Scott will be man enough to live up to the challenge. Scott. All right, fishy folks, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. Oh, I'm wearing my boy Danny from Danny's uh, Aquariums. Danny's a young man. I don't know if he's 16 or 17. He was 16, but I, it has been a, it's been a while since I talked to him, actually. He's a young man from the Netherlands. He's like a giant six-foot something. Great kid. Um, hasn't made videos in a little while, but... He commented on one of my videos recently. I think he works at his local fish store. He has a couple really nice tanks. Um, and you should check his channel out. Good stuff. Um, not my kind of stuff. Not not this, but good stuff. And uh, he does a good job editing. And he's an overall good kid. And I, we got to support the kids in the hobby. So go check out his channel. If you haven't done so already, you should subscribe. Throw a like. Maybe share a video. Help him out. And uh, he's got an Instagram, too. I'll put a link in the description below if I can find it. He's big into Instagram. I'm an old guy. I'm not. Although I do have an Instagram. Link's in the description below. I have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, that's it. All right. So how about a little video on, uh, on Chewy Care, right? Flower porn? Flower? Corn. He was used to the picture, but he was. Oh no, the lights went out. Stand by. Oh, a more of my. What?